Hi, so today I'll be explaining how to do a uh, self-balanced plate using an expression 2 chip. This is the final product, this is what it looks like. It's three, two delta chips, two rectified delta chips and an expression 2 chip. And the plate will always self-balance, no matter what you do. Let's throw it up in the air. Well, yeah, obviously, <laughs> but yeah, no, it's it'll always self write itself, which is nice to have. Okay, so let's start. First, what you do is you open up your spawn menu, and I'm gonna use Phoenix props, which is what anybody, you know, everybody uses. We'll use a small little plate. Um, now, what you're gonna need to do is I usually tilt stuff like this um, because like this everything spawns like straight I don't know if that, that makes any sense whatsoever but okay um, then you go to your menu and you click wire and you hit gyroscope well yeah and make sure that the checkbox output uh, 180 to 180 instead of 0 to 360 now I'm gonna put it in the middle and it, it really doesn't matter where you put it so yeah uh, and then you go to the wire tools and click the debugger and click on the gyroscope. Now here's a little tip. Uh, the way that it is angled at first, so right now I have it angled like this, so that means this will be the pitch when you place the gyroscope. So for example, on the top left of my screen it says pitch 45.000, yaw and roll are both at zero. Yaw, you can just forget about it, it doesn't matter. So what we're going to be focusing right now on is pitch and roll. So the pitch is 45 degrees. So I'm going to go to the spawn menu, wire, gate arithmetic under control, and click delta rectified. And I'm going to place a delta rectified chip right here because this is the positive pitch side. Now I'm going to straighten it and go to the roll. Again, I'm going to go to uh, arithmetic gate, and on the top left of my screen it says roll 45 degrees. So I'm going to place one here. And now I'm going to go to wire control expression 2 and I'm going to place my gyro chip. I'll post the code up with the video. Um in the code it's just I've I've made the code it works really well so um yeah. And now we're going to go to wire physics thrusters. Um I'm going to I'll put in some effects, why not? Um flames, whatever, just so you could see that it works. The force multiplier 5, force minimum 0, and force maximum 10,000. Bidirectional has to be checked. Collision I, is not checked. Enable sound is not checked. And it works out of water and underwater. Now what you're going to do is you're going to place the thrusters on each side. So here, 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 and there. Now I have the uh, the grid tool or whatever, so I click E and it'll automatically go to you know the closest point, which is really really useful. I totally recommend that you know if you're using wire mod, you, you get this, or you're building anything, it just it helps. So now we're gonna have to wire the thrusters to the expression two chip. Right now it is angled at um, on the roll. So what we're gonna do, and since I placed the delta chip here, that means that this is, you know, the positive side of the roll. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on this thruster and click on the expression chip and type RP, which means roll positive. We're gonna go to the other one and that's the inverse. So that's click here and RM roll minus. Uh, we're gonna click this one, and this is uh, this is pitch M, and this is P positive. Okay, so that's done, but it's not gonna work yet because we actually haven't wired any of the uh, you know any of the inputs or any of the delta chips. But we're almost done. So now go to the expression two chip uh, for the pitch. Wire it to the gyroscope pitch. For the roll. Wire it to the gyroscope. The delta pitch wire it to the delta chip and the delta roll wire it to the delta chip. Now we're going to wire the delta chips to the uh, gyroscope. The delta chips, what they do is they, as you can see, it's already trying to straighten itself. 
the delta chips are very important in this because delta chips uh, measure how fast something changes. So right now, the, the, the expression 2 chip knows that um, it's not straight, but it doesn't like if it's moving, for example, it doesn't know how fast it's changing. Adding the delta chips will greatly increase uh, how well it works. So we're going to click the delta roll and wire it to the roll. I'm going to click the delta pitch and wire it to the pitch, and that's it. And I just unfreeze it. And there you go. See? It works. And you can use this on so many projects that it's, it, this is one of the most useful things to know if you're creating any type of you know, space vehicle or anything. Alright.